Well, coming back to our leading story, tributes continue to pour in for business tycoon Dr. Richard Mabonya. He's hailed as a trailblazer and all-round gentleman. But I'm now joined by Mpo Museki, board member at the Black Management Forum. Mpo, thank you so much for your time. Thank what you. are some of your fond memories, perhaps, of Dr. Richard Mabonya? I think, um, Tumelo, thanks for, for inviting us. Um, and we would like to, as the BMF, just add our condolences um, to the Maponya family. It's really a great loss mm -hmm. to um, South African. And, and I think um, for us, really, um, memories that, that I can uh, draw on is just really the opening of Maponya Mall. Um, just having uh, such a big um, mall in, in a township. Yeah. Um, I think for us that's one of the great contributions that um, Dadema Bonya has really brought to us as, as black people and certainly the people um, of Soweto. Yeah. Not having to, to travel far um, to go to, to a mall. Um, I think that was one of the, the greatest. It's really a legacy indeed. It stands out even as you know an iconic landmark in Soweto. You have to pass through Maponya Mall. You have to do your groceries there. Um, but also when other business people talk about him, they always talk about Memarina. Um, his wife and said it was just not him who you know did all the work in business but they knew both of them um, you know as staunch believers of you know empowering black people particularly in the townships what do you think his legacy has done as well and Paul speaking to you as a female entrepreneur a board member of black management forum I think I mean when you when you um read up on Tatema Ponya, certainly you, you, you would find that um, him and um, his wife started the Dube Hygienic Dairy. Um, I mean, they, they, it, it wasn't really about, only about making money. It was around identifying a need, a real need in the community and, and then fulfilling that need. If you think about people who didn't have fridges back then, yeah. um, they wouldn't have had fresh milk if it wasn't for the, for the Dube Hygienic um, Dairy. So I think for, for for myself as a female, um, I think in terms of just the partnership, um, we often talk about patriarchy as females, yeah. but here is a, as a leader in society who was able to harness um, the intelligence and the abilities and capabilities of his wife and form a real partnership to create a legacy, mm. really. So um, for me, as a, as a black female and certainly as, as a black person, it's just around the legacy mindset that this couple had i mean if you think about um how they, um, the the african bank was started yeah uh, by some would say that um, that was the in early days crowdfunding mm. um, taking 10 years to get um, to a million to start up the bank um, going door to door crowdfunding yeah. really so and just in terms of pioneer and now African bank is being led by a black female so I, I think for us as, as, as black females certainly um, we draw strength from from Antate, what the legacy that Ntate Maponya has, has left right. and um, him and his wife and certainly I, I think his daughter Chichi is also yeah. continuing the, 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 legacy. the legacy. I was about yes. to say that he also you know, ensured that his children um, continue that legacy, and we're seeing it right now with Mayor Chichi Mapoya. But you know, some uh, Mpo may argue that why are we only celebrating him this extensively now that he has passed? Do you think that enough was done to ensure that the appreciation uh, for what he has done in business uh, or corporate South Africa um, is, is made known to him, or at least his history and his legacy and what he has done for the country uh, is covered enough? Do you think enough? was done if, if I just look back he's won a, a presidential award yes um, um, but certain, I don't think we have celebrated him enough I mean if, if you think about um, when um, you just you know when when somebody passes it's when you want to reflect and just um, remind yourself yeah. of the things that they've uh, that he's done um, when you look at coverage I mean if you think about he was one of the first black people to join the jockeys association mm. and if you think about what he called his horse another color <laughs> uh, um, and and for me um, I just recently found out about that part of his legacy. I mean, I knew about the businesses, um, Ponya Mall and, and Nafcock and yeah. all that. But there was a whole other 
uh, part of his legacy that we haven't covered it enough in terms mm -hmm. of how he, he fought. He really fought to to become a member of uh, of of the Jockey Society, and yeah. um, I don't think a, a lot of black people know about that. Right. Yeah. There, there, there's so much. I, mm -hmm. I mean, being also the, you know the founding president, as you mentioned, of NACOC back in 1964, mm -hmm. when I'm sure it wasn't even popular to do so, especially as a black man uh, in in the then apartheid you know government. But how do you think we can, of course, continue with this legacy? and you know, keep his memory alive and continue to celebrate him uh, after his passing? I think one of the things that we can certainly do is um, the legacy around township economy, you know, what he was trying to do, what he's, he's been, he did all his life around just re revitalizing and making sure that there's a strong economy around Soweto. It doesn't have to stop at Soweto, but certainly that is where he started. I mean, we've got them all. It's about making sure that the shops... That that are that are they continue to prosper yes. and there's more malls in other areas of so so it is certainly big enough if you think about mm -hmm. how many millions of people um, are in so way to um, who don't necessarily need to come to Centre to, right. to shop if we can keep the the rent circulating within so to that's I think that for me is one of the biggest legacies that we can yeah. um, continue and, and I, I saw. I, I think one of the things that I would imagine that he would have wanted was to get African Bank black, back into black ownership. Mm -hmm. So that those are, are some of the things that one of uh, two things that we could um, possibly continue doing and, and make, making sure that it is achieved as a yeah. legacy to him. Right. Yeah. And, and I mean, I, I, I had my colleague Rapia Mazana having a conversation with one of the journalists from Forbes Africa, who were fortunate enough to have you know sit down with him for three hours. He was on the cover of Forbes uh, Africa, and he of course spoke about his work in business but also how much he is sad when he looks at the extent of you know corruption in South Africa and how it's tripping away at the success story and the potential that could be South Africa now as BMF where it's an organization which I'm sure you know uh, it speaks to liberating black people but also black managers in businesses and corporate South Africa what are some of the lessons that you think that managers around the country particularly black managers can take from Ndade Richard Maboyan to sustain their business I think one one um, big lesson is around perseverance, doggedness. Um, uh, one of the uh, Bonang Muhale, one of the presidents in BMF, calls it doggedness. Just persevering and not giving up, yeah. and having a vision and taking steps. If you think about where he started, where he was a teacher, and then he went and worked for a clothing. Um, maker right. and th those were his beginnings humble beginnings with um a love for the people and uh, and just perseverance and yeah. starting and continuing and and you know th i mean he least he, he was a true visionary. He leased the land uh, where Maponya Mall is sitting um, in 1970. Some of the yeah. people that are BMF members now were not yet born, but he kept it and he he then converted it into a full ownership. So I think one of the lessons is just around, the one true lesson is around perseverance and just taking it day by day until you get your vision. I think that's what the yeah. young people in BMF really need to, to do. Indeed, yeah. never give up is never of course up, his statement. Yeah. Thank you so much Mpomsegi Thank for you. joining us. Thank you. Thank All right, you. and we'll leave our conversation at that Mpomsegi from the Black Management Forum. Condolences continuing to pour in there for the late Date Richard Maponi.